So now let's start with our next chapter, which is a very important one and a very interesting one as well. And that is Apex Testing. Before learning what exactly Apex Testing is, first let's understand what is testing and why is it necessary. So with the help of this particular diagram, I'll be able to explain you what exactly testing is. So over here, a software or an application or a code or a program which matches or is working according to the expected requirements. So this is something which is called as testing. Let me uh, elaborate it a little bit for you. So whatever device, whatever system, whatever software, whatever code, whatever program that you have written down, it should work according to the expected requirements of the end user. And whether or not it is working according to the expected requirements is something that we need to verify and check. And this is exactly what is called as testing. Right. So let me just give uh, take, take, an, take an example of this remote. Let's say it's, it's a remote for the AC that we have in here. So when, when I press this particular button, it should turn it on uh, if it is already off. And uh, if I'll press it again and if it is already on, then it should turn it uh, turn the AC to off. Right. Or turn turn off the AC. So that this is the basic requirement that we have with this particular button of this remote. Right. So whether or not this button is working fine or not is something that we need to test. And how can we test? By just pressing it again and again, by verifying that if the AC is off and when we press this particular button, uh, the AC should be turned on. And if the AC is already on, the AC should be turned off if we press this particular button. Similarly, for other different buttons, we have got different, different requirements and we can test them all by making different, different combinations as well. Right, uh, so over here I can increase the temperature or I can decrease the temperature of the AC and this is the basic requirement of these buttons onto this remote. So this is something that we also need to test. So testing is nothing but verifying that whether the particular application system, software, program or code works according to the expected requirements of that particular thing, right? A calculator, let's say, if, uh, if, if we are creating a calculator, we need to test that whether it is performing the functions as, as it is expected from it or not. Like whenever I enter a number 2223 two, two, into 42, it should uh, give us the right output. And whether or not it is giving the right output or uh, whether it is giving the right output is something that we need to verify. And how do we need to verify that? By doing the testing of it. So this is exactly what testing is. And the output of testing is a defect free software, application, code, or program. So if I'm going to test this uh, remote very well, or I'm, if I'm going to test that calculator very well, and uh, I'm going to make sure that there, there are no errors, then at the end of it, I'll be getting a product or a software or an application or a code which is defect free and which will work according to the expected requirements only. And this is something that happens in all of the fields, whether it is uh, it being a product or a software or an application or a system. Whatever that is, testing happens everywhere and uh, it is really, 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 really very, 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 very important to test uh, the system, the software or the application, whichever you're uh, creating or whichever you're developing to make it a, a defect free application. Because no, nobody wants that uh, if they're trying to call to their uh, girlfriend or boyfriend and uh, the call should be made to their parents, right? So that's something that should not happen. Or if, like, let's say on WhatsApp, if you're trying to send a, uh, like uh, an audio to one of your friends and it uh, by mistake or by an error inside the code of WhatsApp gets sent to your father. <laughs> you can't expect that to happen, right? So this is why we all need to test all the applications in the code uh, which we are developing and uh, it should work according to, the, according to the expected requirements. And this is exactly what testing is.